Hi, this is Kevin from BCH Technologies. We've had many videos showing how to unclog a cartridge with a printhead. I'll put some links here. For example, we can soak the printhead in warm water or cleaning solutions to soften the dried ink. We can suck ink with a vacuum cleaner. Or we can suck ink with a priming clip. We can steam the cartridge to open up the nozzles. Furthermore, if we made a spongeless refillable cartridge, we can blow air from the top to push the clock out. Yeah, I was uh, bragging to my friend and I told them that I can unclog 99% of cartridges. Uh, of course, uh, we talk about this uh, at the party all the time, uh, my party. But once in a while, you're going to have some uh, cartridges that's completely clogged. That no matter what you do, it's not going. It's not going to unclog. Yeah, uh, my hobby is buy a whole bunch of cartridges. Uh, use dry cartridges from eBay and unclog them. This video is for after trying everything before throwing the print head or printer out. A hell married method. Do not try this if the printer or cartridge still have some value to you. Only try it if you have nothing to lose. The integrated cartridge is an excellent choice to try this method. Because a used printhead only costs 5 or $6 and will not damage the printer anyway. We made this uh, 245 actually 246 refillable cartridge no matter what what we do the magenta is clogged if you don't know how to uh, make a refillable cartridge uh, we have a link here that you can, you can you can learn how to make make them so basically we're going to throw this cartridge away if we cannot unclog it our plan is actually get a part of uh, boiling water and boil it. So first thing we do is we take all the ink out and uh, empty, out, um, empty out the cartridge. We don't want to make a big mess. I was worried about uh, the metal part going to rub against the uh, pre-net, so I put in a, a plastic basket. I know you like to watch this, so I'll be back a little bit later. What happened to my basket? That's not good. So we start adding ink back to the cartridge. And then we put it on a clip and uh, prime it. We took the old cartridge out and put our boiled cartridge in. We used the printer's building function to do a 
uh, print head cleaning. So the printer still recognizes the cartridge. That's a good sign. Print a check pattern. So the Magenta is much better than before. Before we boil it, there was almost no Magenta. However, we still can see some clocks there. So this time, um, we're going to fill it with a uh, uh, cleaning solution. We're going to fill the cartridge with a cleaning solution and boil it a little bit longer. We'll use this uh, from bchtechnologies.com and under accessories and anti-clogging agent. And we use this uh, triple action cleaning solution. No basket this time. We're going to let it go for a little bit longer. 346, so I think that's long enough. Okay, we uh, 346, so I think that's long enough. Why not? We draw the cleaning solution out and then we replace it with ink. And now let's try see if, if this works better. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Happy printing. Cheers.